In the history of American cinema, very few villains are as well known as Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. They have terrorized audiences for over 25 years, and they are more prolific than any other serial killer ever seen on film. Our very last installment of the Incubus interview series was with Freddy Krueger himself, Robert England. Kane Hodder, who played Jason in Friday the 13th, 7 through 10, joined us at the last minute for one amazing interview. So this is Dane Tullock, a.k.a. Waterborne from TooldToPlay.com, and I'm here with two literal giants, in the case of Kane Hodder, literally a giant of the horror industry, and Robert fucking England. It's the first time I've cursed all weekend, but I'll say it again. I am here with Robert fucking England. All right, I got that out of my system. So Robert's here uh, promoting Incubus. Kane and Robert work together on the Hatchet series. I hear Hatchet 2. You guys, uh, that's already out, right? Hatchet 2? Hatchet 2 is out, yeah. yeah Hatchet 2 is out. out. I thought you were Both have books out now. Yeah. You know, Kane's. Uh, I, I, I was, you know, honored to be able to, like, uh, do a, a, a book jacket blurb for Kane, you know, because it's just amazing. I mean, between reading Kane's book and Lance Hendrickson's book this last year, these guys had childhoods, man. <laughs> I tell you. So I tell you what, let's talk about that real quick, Kane. Um, let's um, get into uh, what are you promoting? Talk to us about your book and any new film projects you have coming up. Oh uh, yeah, it just it, the book is called Unmasked. It talks about obviously career things, but I also wanted to talk about uh, childhood stuff because I went through a lot of stuff as getting bullied as a kid and uh, had a burn injury in my first year in stunts. So it's a big part of the book, and then of course all the fun stuff within the career. So. People are really responding to it well, so I'm happy. So you're telling me somebody actually used to fuck with you? No, <laughs> a lot. I mean, badly. So, yeah. So, so there is hope for all the runs out there. You can become Kane Hodder. That's right. There you go, man. Now let's talk uh, real quickly about Incubus. We've had an opportunity to talk to the entire cast, to Glenn, um, and everybody who was in, involved in the production of the movie. We saw the premiere last night. Um, the one thing that I really took away from the premiere last night is this is not the Robert England we've seen before. There, there, the production value, you know, you weren't covered in makeup. You didn't have all the special effects. It was kind of Robert England stripped down to the bare essence. So talk Talk to us about that and how you brought that to the role of Incubus. Well, you know, everything starts with the script, and I, I like the originality of the screenplay. But uh, you know what it is? It's 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 a bit of a hybrid. You know, there's a little bit of assault from Precinct 13. You know, the the, the classic original by John Carpenter. There's a little bit of a, a kind of a ghosting Jack the Ripper element about it. You know, uh, I'm I'm in a host body. And it's obviously it's me, but I'm in a host body, and I, I kind of need to replenish myself every every hundred years. The incubus, so uh, I had fun kind of choosing the wardrobe. It's a little bit steampunk, you know. Yeah. Maybe I maybe I got my 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 undercoat uh, back in the '70s, you know, in Serpico, New York. So there's a, there's a lot of stuff to it, you know. There's a a sequence, there's a a scene with a the the claustrophobic trapped cops in the abandoned police precinct or running around that's almost like an MC Escher print you know you just see them in a continuous loop kind of trying to escape because I'm just tweaking with their heads you know and it's it's down and dirty and soiled and monochromatic and and it, the terrific actor William Forsyth is my nemesis in it and uh, the wonderful Jonathan Silverman cast against type Joey Fatone you know playing a, a detective it's just really interesting original low rent popcorn horror and I, I it's kind of a valentine for the fans this halloween so check it out or else most definitely and the one thing i, I just told uh robert before we started filming right here on the interview was i was here on friday i talked to him i was like fourth in line i got here early so i could make sure that we get a chance to talk to him this weekend and the photo he took uh five minutes ago with the, what the 2000 to 2500 people that he uh had to take a photo with today was just as intense as the very first photos that he took on Friday. Well, well Kane will tell you this, and we, Kane and I have talked about this in bars around the world. <laughs> but you, you know, you can get ornery, you can get upset with the noise or the bad lighting that you can't see your autograph. But you have to give as much love, if not more love, to the people at the end of the line 
and we're beat by then as you do at the front of the line now a lot of times at the front of the line some guy will come in and give Kane like a a, a, a Romanian Friday the 13th poster or a <laughs> picture of Kane as a young man doing some early stunt or something and you know you we can't if we've got writer's cramp we still have to do our best to sign that and Kane signs as many action figures as I do I mean there's as many Jason action figures and puppets and shit out there as there are Freddy's and you know at the end of the day we're cramped up and we got to sign like Jason's mask or, or Freddy's claw and you just sort of have to have a little voice in your head that says these guys have been standing in line for three or four hours we got to give them love too right. you know because that's just as hard as what we're doing and so you, you kind of have a little thing going on in your head that reminds you of that and then I always sort of see the light at the end of the tunnel I can see Kane waiting for me at the corner of the bar he's got me a drink and <laughs> we're gonna be okay then you know <laughs> so, so I think it's safe to say first of all thank you as a fan of, of both your uh, legendary works uh, for doing that for being that personable for being that approachable obviously um, you know the, the fans adore you guys but it, it's nice to see that I mean there's personalities out there as I was telling William talking to William Forsyth earlier about it, there's personalities, personalities out there they've been in the movie industry for one or two films that don't have that kind of connection that you guys do and it's really refreshing to, I do a lot of these interviews and it's really refreshing to see that you guys obviously there's a connection with the fans and you respect the fans as much as they respect you um, and well, they've uh, been good to us I mean you know right Kane? I mean, oh, I mean for me I, I went into this business to be a stuntman I never thought I would be signing an autograph right. so I appreciate every second of notoriety I get and like Robert said we both try and be as approachable and fun because people want to have fun when they meet you they don't want to just get something signed and have you look up at them for 10 seconds and then they leave we always have fun with them and that's why I love doing shows with Robert because he and I are very much the same personality and we enjoy the people and they always walk away saying that was fun you know and people bring us gifts you know and and or you'll see some kid that's an artist that'll draw a picture of 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 Kane and I you know and and it's amazing stuff and you have to be encouraging to these people because they might be the next Spielberg you know i mean you know too old to play I hope when I'm too old to play that those are the kids that are like hiring me, you know, when I'm an old man, you know. <laughs> uh, definitely. It, it happens. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's obvious you guys have this amazing rapport together. You guys have done two movies. Have you done more than the Hatchet films together? Or is it just oh, like yeah, two? we did and, Beastmaster. Yeah. We did Fear Clinic together. Yeah. And, and I think we worked, I think you worked on V yes, I back did. in the day. Yeah. 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 And when he was one of the regulars on V, I, I played a stunt role as one of his guys. Wow. So, so wait a minute. Your body, like you two were the same body? No, no, no. no, no. He was a lizard. He, I think he was oh, okay. a bad guy. He was okay. a bad alien. I thought you were saying you were his stunt no, double. No, no, I'm no, like, no. wow. Just, he was the head guy, <laughs> and I was one of his right, minions. Right, right. Actually, yeah, but but it, you know it's it's you know it, it's true that uh, you know that you gotta you gotta give something back to these fans mm -hmm. because. You know, they've opened doors for us. We were saying about, about the young kids that you have to be nice to that might bring you a picture or something. You know, Kane's in a new, brand new franchise now with, with the Hatchet films because of a, a kid like that, Adam Green, oh, who yeah. also yeah. gives back 100% love oh, yeah. when he does the conventions or the yeah. premieres. He's like a, he's a fanboy himself. Yeah, I had the pleasure of meeting Adam here last year at Rock and Shock 2010, and he was, he, he was in charge him for signatures. He was like, he was one of the most magnanimous uh, people here at the convention last year. And um, obviously, you know, he kind of pays that forward. Obviously, you guys are invested in his work because of that personality. Well, I, 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 I want to work for Adam again. He's I mean, I watched him with Anchor Bay once practically steal the entire energy doing the uh, hatchet stuff at, down at Comic-Con. He's great, yeah. He's a very talented guy, extremely gifted writer and director, just one of those guys that was born to do that. Right. And uh, I've done almost every movie with him, at least doing the stunts in it for him, and you know some character stuff too, and he's just great to work with, and he'll be doing huge movies that hopefully Robert and I will do also. Excellent. The other thing that happens you know, with Kane and I is, Kane will star in a franchise movie, or then Kane will go do stunts on, an, on, on a big A movie or something. I'll do cartoon voices or I'll do maybe, you know, a couple of months of TV guest starring. And then we can come to a convention and we get the feedback. You know, we get the feedback on the other stuff we've done because we've been out of the loop for a while. And, and I love that because these are the fans that liked us originally. I like to hear what they think about when, when I've guest starred on, you know, Hawaii Five-0 or Bones or something like that. And, you know, and, and Kane, when Kane's like, I mean, I remember when I was on the set 
of the first Hatchet movie, Kane not only was starring in the movie, he was stunt coordinating, and he was burdened with a makeup that was more intense and and and, in, and extensive than the Freddy makeup. Right. And and I mean I mean he was there was he was working more hours than there are in a day. So you're out of the you know he didn't go to a convention or anything for a long time. He was so busy with that, and then post production. So it's great for us. We kind of recharge our batteries at these, you know. Right. We always have such a good time, and the fans are so fun, and for the most part, uh, <laughs> there's a, an odd one here and there, but you know, but overall, it's a great time. Excellent. Now, uh, being a video game website for gamers over 25, we got to talk to you about your role in Call of oh. Duty real quick. Well, I, here's, I, here's the reality for all the gamers out there. <laughs> you know, I don't know if Kane would have put up with this, but I'm on the set, and 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 Kane's work with these guys. I'm on the set with 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 uh, 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 Danny Trejo uh, yeah. and Michael Rooker from from Walking Dead, and 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 you know, great 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 amount of films. I love Michael. One of my favorite films, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. But we're in tights, Michael Rooker and Danny and I and Sarah Sarah, you know, Michelle Geller, Buffy the Vampire Killer, and you know, I got a little little pot belly going and, and Michael <laughs> Michael has a little beer belly and so did Danny and we're out there in tights because we're doing the whole motion yeah. capture yep. thing from Avatar and we got dots all over so it looked like polka dots you know and we're sitting around you know at craft service table and we look pretty silly but I, I will say this uh, Sarah's looking pretty good Buffy looked pretty good she was buff and she just had a baby so but I mean I can just imagine you know doing one of those with Kane in a pair of tights you know oh my gosh we did that I did I was doing motion capture for a uh, uh, development of a video game where the player was going to play first person as the serial killer. Oh, wow. And it was the coolest de designed game where you could do things as the killer, like, you know, drop bodies places and stuff. It, it was just a very cool idea, but that that company was bought by a more fa a family friendly right. company so they kind of shelved it i was but, about to say i bet that went over real well with the pmrc right yeah exactly <laughs> and but i i know exactly what he's talking about you got tights and you got ping pong balls yeah. all over you you look like an idiot but yeah. and if you don't know what the pmrc is you're not old enough to be on our website because you're not 25 so grow up and come back so i just want to tell my fans just you know choose me as your avatar and kill some fucking zombies that's right so uh, you heard it from robert england i'm once again in sustain talk aka waterborne i am so appreciative of you guys taking a few moments at the end of this really long weekend to talk to us i'm here with once again robert fucking england and i'll do it for you too sir kane fucking hotter and uh you're never too old to play can i get a never you you're never too old to play from you guys come on <laughs> you're never too old to play you're never too old to play like this. Oh! <laughs> this guy is built like a fucking Sherman tank, dude. I think my ears are like <laughs> ringing. Robert's, Robert's got ears and oh, that's <laughs> that's the Freddy Balassi death. Uh, Thank you, guys. Okay. Can we get one picture and then we'll get? Yeah. I only weigh 160, guys. Oh, weenie! Yes, sir, there you go. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Robert, thanks so much, man. <clears throat>